Hey guys, welcome back to BDR Garage. So I said I was gonna do a my bigger modified pipes, um, except the one that one was that stock one that I have, uh, which is the better stock one. You can see the chamber is not uniform like the ones you can buy off Amazon or eBay right now. Um, so quick video. Long story short, this one. I got off of a pocket bike used. That one I got off a pocket bike used. That one I got off a pocket bike used. That one I bought brand new. Somebody had bought a bunch of them from China and I was able to get one. It's the copy to the, the Pro Pipe. I think this is Pro Jet and Jet Pro is the real one or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a nice pipe. So this one's pretty big. This one goes underneath the engine. This one goes over. The only thing I don't like about that one, see that kink it does? I don't necessarily like that, you know, unlike this guy who's nice and straight. But what are you going to do? Um, and then there's this one. I also have a Polini pipe that is off of like a 4.2 air cooled Polini European pocket bike. I won't even show that one because that one would need mods just to make it fit. So it's not a direct bolt-on. All these are direct bolt-ons, but not all of them will fit every freaking uh, pocket bike. They're all different. Every frame is different. But that's basically the different kind of pipes. And, and you can see this one's got a pretty nice chamber on it. It's a little bit bigger than this one, I think, or pretty close. So these are just the different pipes you can find. Keep an eye out. Look look at pictures. Try to get pictures if people are selling them, and you can get better pipes. Uh, and even this J-Bend is pretty close to that one. This one's a little bit thinner, but, I mean, it's way better than those ones you can buy off Amazon or eBay. And that's called a snake pipe. So that's it. Have any questions, just... Uh, Put it in the comments. Uh, I was going to measure them, but they're all pretty close to the same. It's just any of these are so much better than a stock one. And like I said before, is you can take this one, cut it right in the middle here at about two or three inches. And this one's already pretty short here, so I wouldn't even touch that. Just add three or four inches to that, and it will help that pipe out a lot more. And that's easier to find probably than one of these. I think this pipe was 150 bucks on eBay years ago. I don't think it's worth 150 bucks. I would have paid 80 for it, but whatever. So that's what I got for you. Uh, I do have more videos coming. A few more pocket bike things. The chop cylinder head. I have a lot of electric stuff coming. Uh, I just got some projects I got to get done, and life, and work, and family, and everything. So thanks for watching, guys, and. Stay tuned and subscribe and keep and keep 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 with me and you'll see the different cool videos I guess I can put up. Give me suggestions too if you have any suggestions of something you might want to see. Um, and I'll let you know if it's something I'm gonna do or not. A lot of these videos I was already gonna do anyway. So thanks guys and we will talk to you soon.